Welcome back guys. Today we are continuing with the devlog in Trial of the Bush Doctor. And let me just start my screen recording real quick. All I'm going to do today is just play through everything that I've built. So this is day four or something. I've got an entire playable game. It's got a fuck ton of problems which we'll see in a sec. Um, but I'm just going to play through it right now for the first time. I've never played full through it fully. But I think everything should work and I'm just going to jot down anything that's wrong in my phone as I go. Um, when I get to this stage in the development, once everything is like sort of there and together, the thing that I do is I just play it, take notes, correct all the things that I think could be better, play it, take notes, correct all the things that I think could be better, and just repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, and when that's all done, I give it to someone else, sit in the background on my phone taking notes while I'm watching them play it, and then just repeat and do that with more and more people until it gets to the point where the game sort of like carries the player through it, you know? Like, wherever they are, it's like obvious what they need to do, how they need to do it, and it's just a matter of them trying to pull it off. So I'm just going to show you the game today. Um, I'm not going to talk too much, I'm just going to play and just show off all the shit that we've been working on. Or that I've been working on. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't lag too much, I have a feeling it, it might, but... Okay. So we start in the house, in we go. I've got the audio disabled on my computer, but it should be recording. Okay, I'm just going to speed run it. I'm not going to talk too much about it. But you can see I've got some fucked up weird messages on the left of the screen there. What am I meant to do here again? Oh, well, let's just play through it how an intended person, a, play, a new player would be playing it. So that's where we got to get. <laughs> Need seven diamonds or something to open. All right, let's see if we can get in there. That's a checkpoint. Uh, speedrun. Ultimate speedrun. We're going this way. More fucked up messages. Yo. Okay. Fuck, this is actually scary on this lava. Okay. Here we go. Alright, and here's the AI. So I pimped out the AI in the last video. Not in the last video, but today. Since the last video. Where the fuck... Oh, shit. So he shoots these, um potion projectiles and when they hit you check this out your screen starts to trip the fuck out and it like makes me sick to look at but it's really cool all right so i'm gonna fuck this dude up right now yo okay so he's dropped uh this item that i need the plague essence and we got a little bit of lag right now hmm Maybe I can play in a small screen and see if that helps. Not particularly. Oh shit, the plague doctor's back. I don't know what's causing this lag. Oh god, look at that. The fucking effect. So my computer's not handling too well, um, it's the middle of summer here in Australia and it's like almost 40 degrees today, um, and I have a fan down here but I don't have an air conditioner and my computer is really not handling the heat too well, um, and I think, I think it's slowing it down, I don't really know, maybe my computer's just a piece of shit, but I can feel like the keyboard is really hot, but anyway, so I'm going to continue on, um, I'm probably going to have to restart here and there because it saves everything, but I'll just have to cut the video here and there because um, the frame rate just drops like really bad for some reason. Um, okay, so what was I up to? Plague Essence. So let's have a look at this crafting table over here. This is a crafting crafting table, like in Minecraft. Uh, I need fruit and plague essence, and I have fruit and I do have plague essence, so I can craft an elixir of truth. And I'm just going to leave myself a little note there um, because. I want, when the player opens that crafting table, I want their inventory to automatically open so they can see what they've got. It's just little things like that that just make things easier for the player. So, uh, open inventory when open crafting table. Okay. So I have an elixir of truth now, and I'm just going to grab that diamond up there, because I need that for the door. And I think I need, this is, these are white matter deposits, and you can see on the left, 
Every time I smack these and I'm tapping the E key, I'm picking up these white matter items. And if I show you those in my inventory, I have 117. So I think I need 150 for one of these doors. So I'm just going to grind. I'm just going to grind here for a little bit. So let's see. And my frame rate's just gone terrible again, so I'm just going to restart. Alright, baby. We're carrying on. So I've got my Elixir of Truth now. Uh, I might just play in this small screen. I hope it doesn't look too bad, but I think I've got more of a chance of it not screwing up. Oh shit, I nearly just died. Okay, so that door just opened and took 150 of my white matter, so that's working. Uh, I have a checkpoint here, and this thing here is a, another crafting table, which I can't look at while the screen's small like that. That's something else that I need to fix, actually, which I'll jot down later. But if I use this Elixir of Truth, check that out. Oh, my inventory broke some, for some reason. But we can get in here now. Grab that thingo. Oh, I need to put a nav mesh up here for these guys. Okay. And we have a journal here, which gives the player a hint about what to do with those faces that were on the ground. And that's the wall, the hidden wall. I might put an elixir of truth in there, actually. I'm just going to jot all these points down. Okay, so a few things are definitely really broken, so I've just had to drop a few of the items into the world, and I'm going to have to fix them another time. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make the deadline by today. I did challenge myself to have this done by today, um, and I've already cut out a bunch of shit to make it happen, and it's nearly done, and I might fix up a few more things before I finish up for today, but I don't think it's going to be packaged until probably tomorrow. I think I could package it tomorrow. I don't like working on weekends, so I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it until Monday. It's because I, I like to take some time off away from the computer, you know, like, I feel like if you work every day, you just, you get uncreative and you get stuck and you get exhausted and everything that you make just turns out shit. So I think you, it's important that you take some time off every now and again to, to sharpen the axe, as they say. And the item's already despawned, so let me just jump back in because I was rambling and being distracted. So here we are. Uh, this item here, Sentient Metal. Uh, I've just put some white matter in so I don't have to mine again and just some elixirs of truth. The sentient metal you get from those face blocks that I was showing you before, but because their nav mesh isn't working and some other problems as well, I can't actually get them to grow to produce the the item that you need. So, now that I've got the elixir of truth and the sentient metal, once you get the sentient metal, that's when you come back and you can craft the key. So, my crafting table thing's broken, but I can use 20 sentient metal to craft some keys. I think I only need one, but I'm just going to make two. Okay. And now once you've got the key, and I've got an elixir of truth, another elixir of truth. Oh god, please don't die. Okay. I've... Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're going again. Can I speedrun it? Oh. <laughs> so there's like a slingshot technique. It's pretty cool. You can get around really quick, but it's really sketchy. So now, if I use the Elixir of Truth here, dun, 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 uh, I'm just going to jot down another quick note. That should have saved that I've got that checkpoint, so I'm just going to close that. Oh, God, errors everywhere. Uh, let me just jot down a quick note. I'll just be a sec. Um, Post-process effects when using Elixir of Truth. I want the HUD to change color when you're using the Elixir of Truth so you can tell that it's working. There's a message on the side of the screen, but like, you hardly ever check that shit, so... Alright, we got these items. So I need to make the messages on the side of the screen. Why, why did I start at the beginning? Oh, who cares? Um, yeah, the notes on the side of the screen are a bit too small and they don't quite capture your attention, but... I'll get to that. Okay, so... Elixir of Truth shows the wall. In here we have this tall, big, bad cone head. If I shoot at him, is he gonna? Is his nav mesh broken? No, I stunned him. Oh shit! So he's a bit scary, but he's a bit slow and a bit dumb. But now that I've got the key, I can go through there, grab it. Oh shit! <laughs> he's scary. Can I sneak around? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just going to continue on with the rest of this level. Elixir of Truth. Now, 
Now, now, now. The diamonds. I've got eight, which is enough. Oh, shit. But there's just one more I just want to do for the camera. Um, just so I can show you how it works. So, I can break that crate there. If I shoot at it a couple of times. This is going to be really hard, but I'm going to do my best and see if I can get it. Oh, it respawned, you motherfucker. Oh, I didn't, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, shit. That's going to be way harder than I thought. And where am I now? Back here. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't want this video to be just me fucking dying again and again. Getting my ass kicked by my own game. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so hard, dude. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it so it doesn't respawn. <laughs> I'll show you how that works, actually. If you're a developer, I've set up a damage component, and inside the damage component, it just has a, a little boolean that I can tick. Um, let me just check that everything's still working. It has a little boolean that I can tick inside the damage component that says when it triggers the death event, if I want it to respawn, it spawns a dummy actor right where this actor was before it destroys it. And inside that dummy actor, it has a countdown of like whatever respawn time you set it, like 10 seconds or whatever. And then it takes the class of the thing that spawned it as well. So then after the 10 seconds elapse, it just respawns the same thing that was there. So that's how that works. And I'll show you, so in my damageable component here on the screen, uh, if I just go into the details and type in respawn, the respawn time is only five seconds. You know what, I might just, I'm going to disable the respawn for that cube because I don't need it. It's unnecessary and it locks you in. Okay. We're back, baby. Let's fucking get this diamond. Oh, why are you being all laggy and shit for? Can I do it again? I think I'm going to have to stop the recording again and give my computer a break. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, let's carry on. I just felt my computer then underneath and it like hurt my hand to touch. Oh, okay, here we go. God, those messages are fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, everything seems to be working. Let's get that off the screen because we do not need that. Now, let's see if I can pull this off. Bruh, that is so hard. What the fuck? Maybe I should make this easier somehow. <laughs> See, this is why you playtest, I guess. Because you realise that things are actually impossible. When I built this, I did this on my first shot, I think. Okay. Let's do this properly. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I'm scared. Now I can't touch these. As if anyone's going to have time to read that message on the screen while they're in here. Holy shit. Okay. So now... <laughs> Motherfucker! <sighs> okay, I give up on that. That's too hard. So what really needs to happen over here is because when I attacked, I broke this crate underneath me. Um, I need to replace that with something different, so I might just do that now if you want to just sit here on the video and just chill with me while I edit this. <laughs> um, I need to add in a super grid box. Let's chuck one of those in because that doesn't have any damage component on it and I might make you, I don't know, 5, 10 or something. Okay, so if I just drag that in like that, Oh shit, what am I doing? Okay, now we've got a nice little platform, and I might just give it a... What, like a dark material? And I'm just going to grab my custom play start. So I use this as my play start, which I've said a hundred times on these fucking videos already. Oh my god. Okay, so... Is that actually the texture? I think it's the texture. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I can roll with that. Um, 
Yeah, so that's the diamond, just like that. And now you can get this checkpoint if you want it. And then you gotta try and get back, what the fuck? Yo! <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, let's try. Let's see if we can get back. Okay, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. I think this should be like a bonus- Oh my god, and that fucking door's back. The crate's back. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's just move on. Uh, is there anything else that I needed to show you? I think that's just about it. I think we've got all of the, um... We've got all of the diamonds now. I've shown you all of the secret rooms and that. There's a few more stuff that I'm not going to show, but... That's alright, and then what happens is, once you've got, I've got nine diamonds, the gate opens, and this guy looks like a boss, but he's not. You can fight him if you want. Da 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 da. And then we have a, a weird gate thing. And the main menu. And that's it, baby. That's the game. Like I said, it's not quite... Okay, that just crashed for some reason. Um, it's not quite done. I didn't make the deadline, but I'll probably package it tomorrow. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.